morning, I'm John Floyd B. Mapalo, and this is the Weather News, a special news feature on Typhoon Safety Precautions. Typhoons are one of the most disastrous natural calamities in the Philippines. According to Pag-asa, at least 20 typhoons visit the Philippines every year. Typhoons cause injuries and deaths, extensive damage to properties, destruction of public infrastructure like roads, bridges, seaports, and airports, and impairment of the farming sector. This is why it's important to know what to do before, during, and after a typhoon. Preparation and awareness are critical before a typhoon strikes. Here are some of the precautionary measures we need to do. Listen to weather updates and advisories. Be alert about warnings and plans of evacuation in the community. Assess the condition of your house and make necessary repairs. Prepare an emergency kit that contains flashlight, first aid kit, toiletries, batteries, ready to eat food, etc. Keep pets and animals in a safe place. And lastly, immediately evacuate when asked by the authorities. During a typhoon, we must remain calm and stay indoors. Turn off main utility switches for water and electricity. Keep a flashlight handy in case of emergency and power outage. Stay away from potential hazards like glass doors and windows. After the typhoon, it is vital to wait for the announcement from the authorities if it is safe to return home or go outside. Avoid dangerous structures such as fallen trees and damaged power lines. Be extra careful when doing house repairs. And finally, before switching the power source on, make sure that no outlets are wet or submerged in water. We may not be able to stop typhoons from happening, but keep in mind that preparedness is the only way we can combat a natural disaster. This is Jankoy Bimapalo for the Weather News. Stay safe and always be prepared.